Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by upscreening all the various questions asked in top companies which are available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the description given below in chat section. In addition to that, I have segregated all the videos in my channel into 5 playlists which are easy, medium and hard for the type of difficulty questions and premium playlist for only premium uh, payment based questions on LeetCode and I have combined all of the playlists into one single playlist where I have ordered by the sequence number of questions in LeetCode. Now, Let's see the question which we are trying to solve today. The question which we are trying to solve today is question number 1084 sales analysis 3. Let's see the question. Okay, there is a product table which is consisting of product ID, product name, unit prices, okay, and a sales table which is having sales something, okay. They have given a condition that write an SQL query that products that were sold only in the first quarter of 2019 that is between 2019 January 1st to 2019 March 31st okay and return the result in any order let's see the example tables which they are given Now what they have done is, they have asked to filter for what? Only products who are from only 2019 01 01 to 2019 March 31st that is first quarter. If you see, these two tables are joined using product ID, product ID and if you see first product is in the first row, second product is having two rows and the third product is having this one okay let's see the first one first date it is between this range to this range okay so the first row is a right thing now second thing 2g4 okay 2 is also in the specified range but the second result for this uh, product id 2 it is not in this range okay all the results excuse me all the results which are there for the, a particular product they should be in the specified range only okay g4 also has a specified date range just like the site but it also has one more row which is not in this range so 2 doesn't satisfy 3 directly you can see it is out of this range so what we need to do we need to do a inner join of these two tables after that we need to filter for sales date which is in this range and also product such that it is not there in the outside range. Let's see the code for that. From sales table in our join on a dot product id equal to b dot product ID okay and okay where sale date is greater than 2019 01 01 and sale date should be less than or equal to that said an inclusive range so equal to 2019 03 I think 31 or 30 yeah 31 and so by this we will get 1 2 as the result but we know that 2 is also having one so what here wait a minute uh, 
yeah where is the product yeah here you can see one two is the answer but you can see two has also as one more row where it is in the outside range so we need to filter for that also where and product id not in select a product id from this uh, sales table where sales state are not outside this range which is 2019 01 01 okay it should be between 2000 and the outside range and sales state greater than 2019 03 31 okay from this what we required okay product id comma product name let's run it okay where is the product id spelling mistake okay invalid column name sales state yeah let me see it is sales state or sale date yeah sale date it is Okay, we need to select from A table. No, from B table. From product table, we need to select. ambiguous column name product id from sales a inner join product b a dot product id equal to something and uh, sales table a yeah It should be from this range and also the products should not be from this which range products which are brought outside this range let me see it select is different on and everything is same it should be greater than and everything okay and the product should not be from outside range this is also right and the a dot product id not in select a product id from sales where sale date is less than okay sale date all the product ids where it is satisfying it to little it is also true Okay, it should be a left join. My mistake. Okay, then where is the issue? We are joining A to the P table. Okay, if wherever it is matching, it will show this to us. Okay, 1, 2, 2, 2. Okay, where sale greater than 2019, 1. Okay. 
okay my apologies i have rewritten myself in the meantime i just took a pause and rewritten again see same thing left left on this one where sales date is greater than and less than this one and the product id should not be in outside range okay let's submit it yes it's got accepted thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partner classmates or whoever is preparing for a data analyst or a data scientist role just be disciplined complete all the 230 videos which are there in my channel one day you will achieve your dream job my best wishes to you thank you